All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to another video here on CoolStuffInc.com. We got a fun one this week. Now, when a standard format goes too long, people tend to complain, eh, this is feeling a little stale. I know all these decks, Mono Red and Gruul and Command the Dreadhorde. Well, we're uh, experimenting a bit today, going down the, the brew hole and finding something pretty interesting here, the rabbit hole. Rabbit hole, just to be clear. Um, and we got a pretty cool one here. Um, we got a deck based around Defenders. The old wall deck, Rolling Stones, Arcades, the Strategist, one of the Elder Dragons. You know, Nicol Bolas is lesser well-known uh, brother or sister. I don't really know what the hierarchy of dragon families are, but Arcades is, first off, a 3-5 flying vigilance for 4 mana. Also legendary. That's pretty good. Uh, doesn't die to cast down. Lava Coil, Lightning Strike. Um, a lot of cheap removal spells don't kill this card. And a 3-5 is very well-sized. Blocks Arclight Phoenix. Uh, blocks 4-4s. Four attacks Planeswalkers. Has Vigilance. So, on the base, Arcades is just a pretty good card. But it has a lot of abilities as well. So, whenever a defender enters the battlefield, draw a card. Insane. And then, each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. So, your 0-3 wall turns into a 3-3 attacker, which is pretty great. Now, the problem, of course, of playing a card like this is, you put a bunch of, put a bunch of Defenders in your deck, and they kill it. And you're stuck with a bunch of walls. But, we have a backup plan, too, in High Alert, a popular draft card. And High Alert simply says, each creature assigns damage equal to its toughness, and may attack as though it didn't have Defender. So same, same text as Arcades, basically. Also has a little extra text on there saying you'd untap stuff in the late game. Cool. Bonus. Not really super uh, important, but... So now we have eight cards that allow us to attack with our Defenders. Uh, Arcades, of course, is a great creature on its own, and turns all of your Defenders into Cantrips, which is very important. And then high alerts, cheaper, harder to remove, but still turns all our cards on. Now, the, the biggest trap people fall in when building a theme deck like this is they include too many bad cards. Um, you can't just put four high alert, four Arcades, and a bajillion copies of Wall of Mist and Wall of Lost Thoughts and Resolute Watchdogs and Wall of Vines and Grasping Sundews in your deck, or you're basically going to have a deck full of crappy cards realistically, that aren't going to work at all unless you draw your main cards. And what you really want is when things aren't going right and your things aren't firing on all cylinders, your deck still has to function. So what does that mean? That means two things. It means you need to play cards that are at least reasonable on their own. So for example, looking at the walls we're choosing to play, choosing to play in our deck here, we have Wall of Runes, which is just very efficient, one mana for an 0-4, and it scries, helps you find your cards. That's efficient, it's clean, one mana is a very low cost to play. Also very good with Arcades, because if you have five mana, you can go Arcades, play a wall, draw a card immediately for guaranteed advantage, even if they kill it. Um, we get Portcullis Vine, which isn't amazing, but can at least, if you're flooding on your walls, you can draw some cards. It's an 0-3, it's one mana, it's efficient, which is the most important part. And then uh, Cerulee Caretaker, which can help extra, get extra mana, fix our mana, um, this card was played in a s in similar decks a long time ago. Uh, Crypto with right deck because you used to play a similar card. So, a bit of a pedigree. Um, one mana is very reasonable to play for a kind of mediocre fillery card. You know, think about Arcbound Worker or Mem Knight or, you know, uh, Fanatical Firebrand. You know, these one mana is, you know, a, a low bar for synergy pieces for your deck. But once you get to two and three mana, now you're, kind of, now you're kind of wasting mana. It's not really worth the, the cost. So we have our cheap walls, and really the card that makes this entire deck work is Teo the Shield Mage. So Planeswalkers are obviously great, and Teo is a Planeswalker, has a relevant ability, Hexproof, you can't get Thought Erasured, can't get Lightning Struck, and it's just two O3 walls. And the cool thing about Teo is that you can have a Teo in play, and then play Arcades, and then minus Teo to make a token and draw a card immediately. So curve three to four, and you get to, get to make immediate value out of your Arcades, which is awesome. So Teo's pretty great. 
And then you have a Boreal Grazer, who for some reason is not a defender, but it's still really, really good. Um, we're definitely going to want to go 1-3 to three here on our, our mana ramp. Cast our cards earlier. Does not work with Arcades. It's not a defender. Does work with High Alert. So the fact that it's able to ramp us as well as works with it works with half of our engine makes our Boreal Razor pretty reasonable. It also blocks well too. It blocks Thief of Sanity and Bears and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the, the, wall, the wall engine of the deck. But you got to play some good cards too. Um, so problem number one is people play too many cards that just aren't good to fit their theme. Problem number two is people are sometimes afraid to put in cards that are just generically good cards. So I know, Teferi Time Raveler. I know. Everyone's all, eh, it's too many Teferis. I'm sick of Teferi. Teferi's really good. And this deck with eight one mana accelerators is very capable of casting Teferi on turn two, which is phenomenal. And Teferi is very, very good. It is your interactive spell, allows you to bounce things by time, uh, makes it hard for your opponent to interact with you as far as countering your spells, killing your creatures on your turn, etc., etc. Don't, really, don't really need to talk too long about how good Teferi is, and having a powerful card in your theme deck like this is a really, really good thing that fits the theme. Teferi fits perfectly. Uh, your walls help to defend him. He helps to buy time to set your, set to set your, uh, your uh, engine up. We cast them on turn two. Teferi is just a perfect card for this deck. We're also playing one copy of Big Teferi. Um, we were playing three copies of Con Conclave Tribunal, but I wanted a little more card draw to go with our mana acceleration. Um, we have eight mana accelerators, so casting Teferi on turn three is very possible. And good card draw engine. Was well, considering Hydroid Crisis, but it's a little clunky. Teferi is just a, a split card removal spell and card draw engine. And then Tribunal is just one of the better removal spells we can play. We're playing a lot of one drops, 17 one drops. And that's a lot. So Tribunal's pretty good here. Um, honestly, eh, Venerated Locks, that wouldn't be good. But when you're playing a lot of one drops, can Convoke cards are quite good. So this is our removal. We have seven effective removal spells, but five of them are just good cards, which is great. We have our engine. We've got our super efficient ways to utilize our engine and some mana acceleration. And that's your recipe for how to build a fun deck built around a theme, but it's still powerful and playable. You know, where you're not just playing, you know, or I can't even say that, wall, or a suspicious bookcase in your standard deck and hoping to win. Sideboard's got some really cool ones. Uh, Baffling End, Disdainful Stroke, Dovin's Veto. These are common cards we see in sideboards. The most exciting one is Slaughter of a Strong. Uh, this card is awesome in this deck. The combined power of all of our creatures is usually going to be four or less. If we have a Land of Our Elves, a Wall of Runes, a Port Calls Vine, a Caretaker, a Teo token, and an Arcades in play, that's a lot of creatures, and none of them die. Four total power. So this card is phenomenal against any creature deck. Um, they put a bunch of creatures in play, they're going to lose most of them, and that's pretty awesome. So really powerful card, cheap, unexpected, um, just great, great card for our sideboard. Honestly, one of the draws to playing the deck is Slaughter of a Strong. Uh, Knight of Autumn helps to deal with Mono Red and Enchantment, stuff like that. One copy of the Wanderer. Uh, this card's really, really good against Gruul. Um, Exile and Rekindling Phoenix and other big creatures. And then two Tristani Discordant. This card's pretty good against control decks um, as like a post-Wrath play. It's also good against the Simic Steelio Stuff decks, trying to get you with mass manipulation and things like that. So we've hit a really, really good spot here of a deck that is fun, thematic, but also powerful. Towing the line between competitive and kind of funsies. So let's play our matches and let's get to let's get to work here. Deck is called Arcades Alert. It's got a fun name too. Oops. Let's go. Playing ranked here on Arena. We are somewhere floating around a mythic, so we'll be playing this deck against the best possible competition. Which is great. And I played an earlier version of this deck on my stream um I don't know, a few days ago on our path to Mythic. And we did pretty well with it, honestly. So this is the updated version, and frankly, this deck is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's going to win, you know, a, a Grand Prix anytime soon, but I was very impressed how competitive it was. Okay, it's Punaball against a 6. We have no white yet, but we do, because we have the Caretaker. So we have Grazer. Uh, one of the things about Grazer is that you got to have extra lands in your hand. If you go turn 1, Grazer, put a land in play, and don't make a land drop on turn 2, 
That's not really doing much, but we're on the draw here. Pretty easy keep. Uh, the caretaker's going to help us out a lot. Put a mulligan to five. Well, that stinks. Pwn scry's top. Let's roll. Okay, so good draw. Um, of course, works with our Boreal Grazer. Okay, so unfortunately it's another Forest, which kind of stinks, but also looks like they're playing Esper, which is not an easy matchup because they're able to kill our stuff pretty efficiently, but... As long as our caretaker lives, we'll get to cast something. And, uh, we'll see how that goes. Either of our planeswalkers would be very good to play here. And then high alert also works as well. Fortunately, they're killing our stuff. So let's draw a white source here. That's not a white source. Alright, so. Not, uh, not great draw steps here. Forest, high alert, high alert. Pointed Mulligan to five, but yeah. I'll make use of that later. Cast down or to ferry time raveler. Oh, I gotta give him a cast down. All right, right on time. So they're playing Karn. They're probably not playing creatures. I think we're gonna play to ferry and just minus it. Actually, this is a cute play. So we're going to Fairy Minus targeting our Grazer, and if we draw a land, we can play it. Which is pretty cool. I've got we did not. But we did draw a Caretaker, which actually works. So you can play the Caretaker instead, and then next turn play the Grazer and use the mana from Caretaker. So that's kind of cool. Getting to Fairy Hero of Dominaria down will be a... Uh, go a long way towards us uh, making forward progress in this game. This will aid us. Right. So they have their own Teferi. Let's slow this down. They're going to bounce their Oath of Kai. Also cute. They are pulling ahead here. They have drawn another mulligan pretty well. Um, Let's try this. Okay, so... Probably gonna tuck Karn here. We, we, we tuck, I mean, if we tuck Karn, we lose to Fairy here of Dominaria to the uh, the Oath of Kaya. Maybe we're just plusing Karn actually. I mean, plusing to Fairy. Um, Karn is annoying, but our own to Fairy is pretty good. Hopefully, they won't have a way to kill it. A lot of higher alerts. You don't want to draw this many higher alerts usually. So it's been a, a somewhat unbalanced draw for us to start. Here we go. Cry of the Carnarium, D Spark. So pretty easy cry of the Carnarium. The card's not very good against us. Next turn they'll be able to D Spark our Teferi though, which is uh, not good. So we might need to just tuck this card. There's Othakaiing our poor walls, you know? We're just trying to get some wall tr wall traction here. Oh, man. Alright, well, this game is going about as badly as possible. So they have a Teferi on 6, Karn on 6. I think we're going to pack it up. Um, we played Caretaker... But we haven't really shown them what we're doing yet. We've only cast four cards. Um, they haven't seen Arcadia's High Alert. And most of the cards they've seen are Planeswalkers. So let's just not reveal anything else. We're so far behind this game, we're not going to win. So let's just pack it up and try and conceal what we're doing. Tough game. Um, Esprit decks with lots of removal can be tough for us for sure. So let's, um, let's bring in... 
some number of counter spell. It's tough because the counter spells are bad against Teferi, obviously. We don't necessarily remove Teferi super well. Um, I don't think we want these tribunals. Teo is cool. Cut some of the weaker cards. I mean, caretakers are pretty weak because they don't really. Um, I've got a high alert too, I think. We're going to want. Probably some number of vetoes or strokes. We're shaving high alert because they don't really they're not really gonna remove it and the game's gonna go long probably. We keep in like two caretakers. And what's better, stroke or veto? Probably veto. Veto is a little awkward with our forests, but and our land or elves. Again, don't want to have a ton of counter spells because if they have a Teferi in play, they don't do anything. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this. They unfortunately probably have Kaya's Wrath in their deck, which is really good against us, so probably one of our, our worst possible matchups here to start. I kind of an Esper Control deck. Killing me, Smalls. Um, this hand's atrocious. It's just got basically nothing. There's a mulligan. Really hate to mulligan against the thought the thought erasure decks, but pawn a mulligans too. Alright, we're gonna keep. This hand this hand plays. This hand's a turn three Arcades. We're gonna keep this Arcades on top, because it's central to our strategy, and if they have a thought erasure or a removal spell, uh, that's gonna be bad for us, so. All right, we're going to lead on uh, Caretaker. I guess we can just like play a tap line and play Caretaker next turn, because next turn we can play Wall of Ruins and Caretaker in the same turn. We know we're drawing, so there's no reason to take any damage here. Yeah, this is fun. So now we get Wall of Ruins, get our Scry on, Temple Garden to the bottom. Alright, well, here we go. Arcades! Can't cast down that one. Ooh, can despark it. That's tough. That is tough. Now the question is, do we attack for seven or play Portcullis Vine and guarantee a card draw here? Um, I guess this is when it enters the battlefield. Yeah, we're just attacking. They have like Mortify. Despark again? Jeez. Alright. Yeah. Not a good start for us. <sighs> yeah. Alright, well... Mold the sixth, kill kill wrath. It's gonna be pretty hard for this deck to beat a lot of the time, unfortunately. We did beat Esper twice on stream playing this deck, but clearly what's happening right now is not going to have us winning the game. Here doesn't seem very good against us. We have four Teferis in our deck. You, I can know 
longer. Stand by and watch. Alright, so... Not exactly the, uh... Best first match there. Um, kind of got clowned. Hands are pretty bad. We'll try that one again. Again, I think Esper Control is probably one of our worst possible matchups. Combination of Wrath of Gods, a bunch of removal, Elder Spell for our Planeswalkers. They just have basically everything. And we're not particularly fast enough to uh, to keep up. And while they don't kill Arcade super easily, they draw all the answers that game. So Mortify is not commonly played. Usually they play like two to spark. Usually they play Cast Down or Tyrant Scorn, which both can't kill Arcades, but Double D Spark that game made us look really foolish. Um, we can keep this. It's not great, but we can keep it. Opponent is ranked 56th. Vivian's Arcbow. Do you want to discard a card? Look at the top X cards of your library. Maybe put a creature card. The third mana cost extra less on the battlefield. The rest of the bottom. And draw another green. So we're, we are having some mana problems in these first few games. Um, Not finding our white. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, But we will power through, I suppose. Yeah, it's a poor colorless vine. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Can cycle this. That means Arcbo is cute, kind of clunky, but oh, no, they're just doing it. Discard a Carnage Tyrant for an Incubation Druid. That's fortunate. What if, what if they missed? Mm. Um. Three's not a lot, you know. Deputy of Detention. Sure. There it is. A little late on the uh, pickup here, but now the question is, what do we want to do? We can try Beetlevis Arcbow. Um. Doesn't feel great. Not tribunaling deputy. Teo doesn't really do much here. Try and set up for Teferi next turn. We have an interesting deck from our opponent here. In the tank, what could be going on here? Portcullis Vine, Portcullis Vine, Llanowar Elves, Llanowar Elves, Conclave Tribunal. Those are the five cards we've cast so far. Spark Double. Uh, okay. It's interesting. High alert. I mean, I think we're just gonna have to fairy plus here. Try and untap and go Teo high alert. Let's slow this down. No time for a break. 
Well, it's very bad. I probably can't kill my Teferi this turn. Because I'll get to untap with it, draw again, high alert, Teo. Spark doubles a interesting magic card. Main phase arc bow discarding Lano Elves. Okay. No Carnage Tyrant, please. Merfolk Skydiver. Okay. It's cute. It's cute. I get it. I get it. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. So we drew our land. Um... Now I think we're probably to ferrying and bouncing this incubation druid because that's a lot of mana. Uh, to ferry bounce this and Teo make a blocker. I'm cool with that. We need to move quickly. We'll get to pick off the Teferi with the, the Skydiver. I think that's fine. I think that Repulse here is totally fine. So Skydiver can poke. Arc bow again, I suppose. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. Paid six mana for a skydiver last turn. Discard the druid. Lano Ralph. Deputy of the Tension. Targeting what? Targeting Big Teferi. It's not great for us. It's not great. So now the Skydiver will pick off the Teferi Time Raveler. It's fine. These attacks don't make any sense, so... Time Raveler did uh, did their job. Don't really have any removal, which is kind of annoying because the deputies are just here to stay for the most part. But you can do a fire and high alert here. We are flooding a little bit on high alerts and lands, but this is what I trained for. I mean, I guess we're going to hold the other one, because if they have another deputy, we want to have a have it not get sucked up, but... Bye, Teo. There is much to learn. Teo. Teo. Two lands. And no hide for us. Okay. And another to ferry. Interesting. So it's funny how annoying this Merfolk Skydiver is. Just having like a little one power evasion creature to pick off planeswalkers is pretty important. No hide for Ox is certainly interesting. Um the problem is we just can't kill these deputies. Deputy is just a, a very good card against us. It's not very commonly played, but it is quite good against us. Um, we were playing Tevsky. I 
Just like bouncing a deputy. This isn't a fight you can and then drawing another card. I was like a bounce spark double, but then spark double could copy something else. It's anything that they control. So it'd be another null hide, probably. Yeah. They have plenty of mana. I have a plan. Whatever else. Keep up the pace. A boreal grazer. That's actually a really good draw. So that blocks up with the skydiver, so play that. Play land or else. No, it's no good attacks anymore, but that's fine. Good ship. They try and deputy my two tokens, I can sack one of them to Portco is fine, which is cool. I can deputy my Knights of Fairies, it's fine. It's no no better than it was before, so. Alright, it's targeting to fairy again. It's fine. Now what? Well, that was a good draw. Um, fighting our Boreal Razor. Yeah, that was probably the best possible draw they could add. I think we're dead now. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're really drawing to anymore. In game ones, we don't really have a way to clean up a board like this. That's a start. You just let me Draw a bunch of one mana walls. It's also a start. Um, I'm back the same sequence. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I am not making this up as I go. Another maybe one of those out. Or was that game one? That was game that was match one. Draw. Hold that thought. Not great. They can deputy my Arcades now, but they'd have to make some attacks to try and get to my Teferis. We have plenty of blockers. They have a lot of creatures, like... Yeah, that, that Tulsimer draw was unreal. That's basically everything. This two extra bodies, kill my creature, gain life, pave the way for their flyer. Just the, the, the perfect draw by a lot. I think we were starting to crawl our way, our way back into this game until that happened. Targeting Arcades, sure. I mean, they probably have enough stuff now to practice pressure to ferry. Yeah, Tulsa are really good. Alright, so. I think we're just trading off here. You want to untap at the fairy and play and just hope. Could draw a card off the portcullis vine and not kill one of these 
not kill Tulsimer. But this does simplify the board a bit, and we're drawing two cards next turn. Just gotta hope that uh, they're good, I think. This is hardly my worst defeat. Oh. Pawn, take it easy. Where are my slaughter strongs at? Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Alright. That's okay. Um that pity detention is very, very good against us. Obviously we're a deck with no removal. Uh, not a very good card in the format, I don't think, because almost every deck has tons of removal, but it is good against us, so we will adapt. Um, three Slaughter of a Strong for sure. Tribunal... Tribunal's fine. Um, I don't mind shaving a high alert. And then Tribunal's also, like, it's fine, but they seem to have mostly only creatures. I guess Arcbow is a little annoying, but... Um, they're not removing a lot of our stuff. Yeah, I think we should cut the Tribunal's. Rely on Slot of a Strong to do some serious work here. Don't think I want Nullhide. Don't want Baffling End either, I don't think. It, it would answer... Deputy, like, theoretically, but I think I'd rather just use Slaughter of a Strong. Uh, can't break up our engine too much. Maybe we want, like, two baffling ends. Let's cut... Uh, let me cut two portcullis vines. All right, we'll try this. Not exactly sure. Not totally sure what our opponent's deck. I mean, opponent's just kind of like playing bant creatures with arc bows, just like null hide for ox and stuff. That's pretty good. So we get to play. I mean, we're not gonna battle land a land or off, I guess. But I should play breeding pool. That was dumb. All right, whatever. It took two for no reason. I should, I should play breeding pool on turn one. I just wasn't thinking. Ooh, Arcades. That is a. This is a good hand. Just to ferry a mana creature. Yeah, we're gonna have to ferry this mana creature. Very mana creatures feels nice. Stand by and walk. Might be a bad idea. Oh, it's good too. Um, if we don't draw a land, we probably just cast high alert back for seven. This hand's been our best hand so far by a good amount. Ooh, he's back. She's back. She's back. I'll protect you. High alert. Yeah, just like high alert here. We could Arcades. Um, but then we, then we can't attack. We have to attack for seven here. Which is pretty good. Pulsimer is really, really good against us because our creatures don't have power, which is quite annoying. Uh, um, so, Bone is playing a lot of good cards against us, and unfortunately, uh, we did not draw a land for Arcades. We killed our mana creature. That is that is a tough one. Um, okay. 
I think we're gonna have to baffling end here. Block this, set up for next turn, play baffling end, land or elves. I guess a boreal grazer might be better. Yeah, man, I mean, killing the incubation druid is, yeah, it's fine. I need just grazer, actually. Definitely like, like to get to our turn with Teferi intact, so we can use it to bounce something and draw a card again. Very good card against us. Our O3 walls are not very good at winning fights. Opponents in the tank. They did shock. I mean, they could attack with the fairy with all three and adapt it. I would probably just. I don't know. Neoform? Carnage time. No, I promise. Your opponent's deck is certainly a pile of magic cards. Um, Alright. I guess. Uh. Let's start here, I guess. My Carnage Tyrant's pretty big. I mean, I can cast Arcades. It's probably what I want to do, honestly. Just say go. Just Carney T. So I think we probably just take this. We could trade both of our walls with the uh, Carnage Tyrant, but I, I guess if I trade, I can to ferry the Nullhide next turn if I draw a land. That's not great though. Maybe just take this. Our is ranked 56th in the Mythic Ladder with this uh, concoction of cards. They have missed, uh, they don't miss the they have the, the Druid. Alright, um... I mean... Draw a card. Land plays. Land certainly plays. Um, I don't hate the idea of bouncing this druid. I was in a baffling end it, but now I think I'm just going to to fairy time raveler it. Could have Mystic Snake. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. That's more like it. Okay, that's pretty good actually. So now we can actually just get Arcades into combat and not really care. So... They're at five. And we're going to block with many, many things. Pretty sure I'm happy with this. We lose two walls and a Lano Rolf. Cool. Go, Arcades! 
Didn't even draw Slaughter for Strong. Slaughter for Strong is going to be good. And let me tell you. Um, all right, so Neoform, Arcbo stuff. Let's run that back, I guess. That's the good thing is that Arcadius is just really big. You know, like, 5-5 five, five Sarah Angel is kind of a house. My hand was good that game. This hand is not good. Oh, you're killing me. If we knew there was a Teferi on top of our deck, we could keep this. This is like a lot of mana quickly, but... Ah, uh, we can't keep this hand. That's better. A little bit better, just a little bit. Turn two Teferi. It's good to have good cards in your deck. It's very important. Forest, Lino Rolls. And they are in the tank. Tanking it up on turn two. Incubation Druid, no land, go. Okay, so if we Teferi the Druid, they get to attack the Teferi with Lino Rolls. If we Teferi the Lino Rolls, I think it's keep the druid, but it's pretty good. I'm down with that. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. Arcades. Got to avoid Deputy of Detention, you know? They may only have, like, two copies of it. They didn't play any last game. And they played two and Spark doubled one in the uh, prior game. So... It's very, it's really good, you know? Neo form the Lana Rolls. This is for a fart noises. Fibble thip. Sorry. I refer to the Fibble thip as fart noises on my uh on my stream. Because his name is so difficult to say, and when I try and say it, it sounds like I'm making fart noises. Alright, I mean that's cute, I guess. Alright, I mean if they have a uh a deputy here, we're probably in trouble, here but we, we are Slam Jam and Arcades. If he gets on tap, we get to go bananas and draw a bunch of cards, so. Just hope they don't have a removal spell. Very annoying. I mean, now, like, Baffling End's a good draw, Teferi's a good draw, Only another Arcades is a good draw. If we can just get the Arcades in play and cast both these things, um, then we have, like, a pretty decent shot. I think they have Krasis in their deck, right? Like, we're just gonna hold these, because we want to try and cantrip off of them, and they're not really doing much right now, so... Possible this deck could board like two crisis for grindy matchups. So we're drawing to two baffling end, three to fairies, one big to fairy, three three more arcades. Slaughter the strong. That's gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna, we're going we're going bigger than this. Obviously, there's not really much in play yet. Um, I'm 
This is fine. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not ideal, but... They're probably playing around time wipe because we haven't done anything with cards in our hand. And wait, one more turn. Snakes, usually we can build a board and play this card, but we can't really block their stuff. An 0-4 would be great right now. Usually we're like playing a bunch of walls. They have to overcommit to get through our walls. We play, we play Solid River Strong. It's not currently the case. This is not good. They're going to use his mana or something. Yeah, that's probably bad. All right, I mean, it kills two things, I guess. It's not ideal. This is not what we were looking for with Slaughter Strong, but... They're going to keep a Druid and a, a Deputy. So he kills the Druid and the Fibblethip. And... They get to activate Arpo for a million. Yeah, we're probably in big trouble here. It is hilarious how if one of these O threes was just an O four, we would have been like insane, insanely good shape. We would have taken like nine less damage, and these slaughter of strongs would be awesome. But because we can't block the three power creature, and we can't remove this yet, we are just in trouble. Discarding neoforms, any card? Oh, that was a creature. All right, next is eight. Stop fighting my O3s. Yeah, unfortunately their decks even very good against ours too. So that's tough. Kind of a weird, weird deck there for sure, but Definitely need to draw. Maybe I should have brought the third baffling end in. Just like the only thing I really want to kill is Deputy. Doesn't kill a lot of their other important cards. Like killing a mana creature with a baffling end isn't really part of our plan. But it just didn't work out too good for us. All right, this hand is great. Keep skis. Not the best of Boreal Grazer hand, but a pretty fast high alert hand, honestly. Line of Rolls again, sure. Arcades too. Wow. Um, so we can wall Grazer here, or we can just Teo. It's probably just Wall Grazer. Set up for Arcades or High Alert next turn. If we Teo, we gotta draw a land. Teo's pretty good, honestly. Wall can help find a land for Arcades, but Teo, 3-3, three, three, then next turn draw a land, 3-3 three, three, Arcades, or just 3-3 three, three, High Alert. This certainly attacks to more damage. I guess we'll just do this. This attacks more damage.
Obviously, if they block there, it's bad for us, but I doubt they ever block there, so. Yeah, that's a good draw. Alright, well. It's Arcadia's time. Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, like, Razor doesn't do anything. Uh. Maybe I should have high alerted. Because I forgot the Gracers as a defender. Arcades is also just huge. So. Entrancing Melody. That is so unbelievably rude. That is insane. It just Melodied our Arcades on turn 3 or turn 4. We're having a rough go, but I'm not gonna lie. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, I mean we're super dead again. I don't know if we can ever beat six mana on turn four, steal your creature, then play Nissa. Um, mana acceleration in this format's pretty wild. The problem is, in a matchup like this, our walls aren't doing double duty. Because normally, if our opponent's playing creatures and it's acting as we can just block them. But you can't block a liner off tapping for mana. You know, so they're just able to. We're not really interacting with what they're doing. Um. And they can just cast nine drops on turn four, and we just can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Um, I mean, we're like pretty super dead here. I guess we'll keep playing, but. It is my duty to protect like these, the, these Bant based, uh, these Lana Elf Incubation Druid Nissa decks just have like such good goldfishes. Like, they should cast Crisis for 100 this turn. It's like turn 5. Like, Nyss is pretty messed up. Slot of a Strong should be good, hopefully. Tristani will be good. Casual turn six mass simulation for like all my entire creatures. That's tough. That's a pretty good hand. Um, I mean, not a time we can do. Honestly, it's kind of kind of stinky. But all right, so they're not going to have deputies, so we're not going to need these baffling ends. We're going to want Shani's uh, and the slaughter of Strongs. Um, I don't like tribunal here. We can shave a high alert and then. Probably shave like the two port colors vines. I doubt we're gonna be sacrificing our walls. Shave a Teo also. Yeah, shave a Teo. Shave a vine. Yeah. I don't think I want disdainful stroke, like Yeah, I can counter the, the steely stuff, but it's just hard to keep the mana open for it. Maybe we do. If we can't bring in too many cards, we're already bring in five cards. It's hard to bring in a whole bunch of cards. Let's put in one Miser's copy. Or we'll do one, we'll do one stroke. It's also very possible they have to ferry in their deck because they're playing Bant, which makes the stroke not do anything, which is tough, so... This hand's insane. Lionel Elves. 
for our most insane hand start with Lanar Elves, you know? Sable Stroke. That's pretty good. Alright. Should just attack first, but. Yeah, I don't want. No, attack. They're never blocking, so. Alright, I mean. We could have maybe held that to try and draw a card, but I think this is more about just trying to kill them before they get set up here. <laughs> that acceleration in this format is pretty silly. Alright, so. The problem is we want to leave Stroke up for Nyssa. Uh, we also want to play Arcades and attack. So, I think we're just going to play Arcades and say go with Stroke up. Stroke, obviously very good on the play when you have a lot of mana acceleration, but... Probably can't ask for a better hand than this one, so... Oh, there you go. Put him on alert. Take a million! Red alert. Red alert. Captain Ray Shields. Shalai, voice of plenty. Sure. I think we're just squatting here. Shalai blocks a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, this... Yep. I suppose they have Lyra. If they had Lyra, they would just cast it, right? But this is basically how you have to beat these uh, these Bant decks. Um, by out, kind of like out aggroing them. The problem is that like we don't really do that, and they just get to get their mana in play first. So it just seems like these these Bant ramp decks are just not a good matchup for us. So if we found our, we found our bad matchup so far, uh, Esper hard Esper control with Kaya's Wraths and no heroes, and now uh, Banty stuffy decks. That's a good draw. Scry first. Haven't gotten to really go off with Arcades yet, which is nice. I guess I could have just played the played the high alert and probably killed them, but that's not bad either. Um, yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna kill this. They're gonna block this and kill this and go to one. Yeah, so we attack with everything. They block Razor, block Arcades, sack Rontodon, kill high alert. These bounce. They're just basically dead next turn anyway. I don't want to show them Slaughter Song if I don't show them, I don't have to. So. Oh, right. Duh, the Grazer is uh, not turned on by Arcades. So they can block like this and shoot, take nothing, which is also the same, the same thing, basically. Which is fine. I mean, there are two, and we have many threats in play for next turn. I probably should have topped that high alert in retrospect. I was a little greedy. I wanted to just draw more walls and keep keep playing walls um, and drawing cards. They haven't really gotten to go off with Arcades yet. Like, Arcades goes off pretty well. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just dead anyway, so. Alright, we stole the game. It's good. Gotta steal those games, those bad matchups. I, I want I want second stroke, I think. Which is too uh too good. Maybe we got Big Teferi. Big Teferi 
Yeah, let's cut big to very. I don't think that's a, that's a game plan. A game we want, we want to be playing really. We can't really. We cannot grind with them at all. We have to kind of just cheese them out and kill them with a good draw because we can't beat their top end ever, and they get there pretty quick. We can't interact directly with their mana creatures. We can't direct indirectly interact directly with their uh, with their big spells really. So like. We're kind of just trying to have a good draw and kill them, and Teferi's not really part of that, so. They mulled to six, and we're on the draw. We're going to keep this. We need a blue source. Any creature works also, and then we have a lot of our good cards. So any other green creature will tap for any color, so. Every game. Lanor Elf, so good. So good. So good. <sighs> Two good cards, but... I mean, I'm totally fine with our keep here. I think our hand was great in the matchup. It's not a good matchup. We gotta get a little lucky. Any land in our hand's insane. Any land or creature. Um, but obviously it's not working out for us. Slot of a Shaw might still be good here. But probably not. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, alright. What are you gonna do? I mean, if we draw a white land or any creature, and cast the class slaughter, the cast slaughter of a strong. You know, it's not going to be bad. All right. So you're telling me there's a chance. They have a negate too. No. Okay. So this kills a forest and a lyra. We have another one, you know, so. Still can't cast, you know, five of the six cards in our hand, but Slaughter of a Strong is another, another, it's a good card to have access to. Part of a strong, obviously better against like Gruul or something than against Simic, but you can adapt this druid. And we are dead. Too little too late. We needed that about three turns ago. Uh, they just float the mana, save everything but it for you, and they just go down and kills. Alright, tough game. Tough game, obviously. Um, tough, tough matches so far, realistically. I feel like all three of his matches have been pretty bad for us, and, uh, we have not been running great. Um, which is unfortunate, because I was doing very well with the second on stream, so I got to go to record the video, just the usual, go to record the video. But... We don't, we don't edit things here. You know, I'm not going to cherry pick. I'm not going to pick out all the games where things go right for me and I win and be like, look how good I am, you know. Um, I try to make sure my content is as straightforward as, as possible and just give you it as it really is. So I still think it's like, is really cool. Um, you know, a lot of times in Magic, you play bad matchups or things don't go right. And it's important to be able to parse the difference between, like, this deck sucks and things aren't going right. Um, this deck's not amazing. It's definitely not, like, you know... A, a Grand Prix crazy winning deck, but it definitely has legs. It's a cool deck. It sounds good. So, um, but I think we are getting a little, 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 uh, hitting the bad side of fortune a little bit with all our matchups and, uh, how things have run out so far. This sounds great. Smusher. 
So do we want a Teo here? Teo turns off um, Thought Erasure, which is pretty sweet. And the interesting question is, do we make a token or no? If we draw an Arcades, if we draw... I guess we would draw a card, but we could also attack with it. Yeah, I'll make a token. Put me out front. I think I might not make the second token. Because uh, it also plays around Wrath, too, but we'll see what they do. I do like that we're uh, immune to Thought Erasure currently. I think we're going to Wall of Runes to ferry our own Wall of Runes. They might have a kill spell, but if they're wasting a... Actually, I guess we don't, we don't draw a card in that case. That's bad for us. Um, Because they draw a part will fizzle. Alright, yeah, we can't do that. I think we're going to Wall and just draw a card to ferry. We don't need Hollow Fountain, that's for sure. Oh, duh. Once the fairy's in play, they can't... Sure. So that was dumb. I should, play, I, should play, I should play the fairy first. I'm known for my excellent timing. That was sloppy. I just forgot the static ability, because static ability is so easy to forget. I should play the fairy first, and then, then they couldn't even do that. So, that was stupid. Alright, whatever. We'll draw a card. I've got it. I think we just say go... So yeah, lost a little value there. Could have could have scryed again. Next turn. My wall. That's more like it. Need to find a payoff. Um. So like a bell haunt target or no? I think it's each opponent. So I'm gonna keep this in my hand. I think I still just hold the Teo. I'm gonna hold this too. I want value if we draw Arcades. Draw high alert. It's awkward. We're also kinda of playing around Wrath a little bit too, so this is fine. Another hard matchup, just S for removal spells. Um. Right on schedule. I just like not attack last turn. That's embarrassing. Let's try this. <sighs> Don't worry, I got this. This is the problem with uh, having fluff in your deck. We definitely lowered the amount of fluff as much as possible. We still have fluff in our deck, you know. Really should have seen that coming. No more game. I am not making this up as I go. All right, you gotta take it easy. These Othakaias, all right. Here goes nothing. Seems like they're flooding too. At least that's good, I guess. For. What do you mean uncalled for? You came into my battlefield and bounced my things. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Before. Yeah, we're both flooding heinously. Probably like keep poking this to ferry, but like I'm also just taking a bunch of damage and giving them much of a life to do it. 
But I don't want it to be able to bounce Otakaya. Got time. Yeah, we both stink. Should have died if it's other guy. Don't make another move. Man, we stink. Let's both draw land every turn. I, I can't keep attacking. I will die eventually. So I think at this point. Just say go. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Wow. Teo. Very sassy. Oh, that's really bad. Trust hurry. I'll protect you. Sometimes, you know, things just don't go your way. I have seen enough. No elder spells here. All right, another tough, uh, another tough Esper matchup here. Um, we're gonna want take a high alert. Take out a few of the stinkers. Maybe a Boreal Grazer is worse than the Vine because uh, it doesn't work with Arcades. The Tribunals. I, want, I like Tristani just as a way to pressure their stuff. I think I like like two stroke. Actually, I'm sorry, Vito's better. Let's shave one a Boreal Grazer. I guess the ramp is pretty good. Yeah, I'll shave up. Caretaker. Alright. Uphill battle. Both ways through the snow. Let's go. I swear to you I beat Esper twice on my stream. I swear. It wasn't easy. We got a little lucky both times, but... It's winnable. It's not good. <sighs> We're keeping. Scry, don't fail me now. Said, don't fail me now. Go ahead, thought erasure me. Bring it. Bring it. There's one thing my hand is it's good against thought erasure. Cast down, not good against their hand. Do you even play it? Is there a benefit to holding it? Discard it to like a bell haunt or something? I'm just gonna hold it and say go. So, kind of interesting spot. I might bounce my wall runes here, so I can't Arcades and it's active as fairy. That's draws my card too. So, we get to scry worst case scenario. Oh, come on. Why are you like this? It's possible there's not enough white sources of a deck. There's a lot of white sources of a deck, but maybe it's not enough. I think we have like 15 white sources. Similar amount of blue... There it is. Similar amount of blue sources, realistically. Alright. Um, we're going to play this because it can attack with Trisani. We are in big trouble, though.
Here we go. Fun police. I mean, there's basically no play we can make that doesn't get blown out. Kai's Wrath is just so good against us. We have to play something to beat the Planeswalkers, but then we just get Wrath, and we can't beat their hand anyway. Sadness scoop. Sadness scoop. Alright, we got a win here. This deck is not bad. Like, I'm telling you. We are... We're struggling, but I'm pretty sure I went, like I said, like 3-2 or 4-1 with this deck on stream, and fortunately, things just ain't going our way. Alright, that's a great hand, that's a great hand. Um, breeding pool. Is Lanaral is better than Grazer? I don't know. I think Grazer's better. Is Grazer can attack. It's similar, yeah. I guess the Lanaral can attack, but the Grazer attacks with the. If I draw a thingy. I think Grazer's better. It's good here, like this is an ideal scenario, but just playing against probably five bad matchups in a row is just, just too much sometimes. We're sending a message, let's get, I think it have like, stupid, whatever. Maybe like a war boss or something. Oh man. That was good. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, it's a high alert. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Read my cards. I see you. They can't see you reading my cards. All right, I screwed. Got it. Yes, we got it. Nine man on turn four. Got it. Axkeys. And Maniskeys. Not bad shape here, I suppose. So I cast Nissa. It's possibly want time wipe over slaughter strong. Slaughter Strong is so sweet. It's not that bad. So we have two three threes. It's only a matter of time. Boreal Grazer. Tacnissa. There are nine. I 
long as they untap, though, like, they just play basically anything and we die. They could also just pump these druids up, too. When you attack them, they just can just go to two. Um, we attack Nissa, they have to block with the forest, so at least we trade. I think it's this. Well, they're gonna let Nissa go. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're all in. We have three three threes. Unsurprising. Witness the ties that bind us all. So you get to untap two forest, attack, and pump up one of their incubation druids. The land fights for us. God, this is so good. There you are. You are late. We are so dead. They can like pump the team like twice. Yeah, we're just we're just dead. All right. I'm running out of things to say. We just keep playing against the same decks that are really good against us, and we're losing. Um. All right. Uh, I mean, there's Bant. So Strokes, Tristani's, cut a Teo, cut a High Alert. Uh, don't want Tribunals. Just gotta cheese them out. Oh, they want Slaughter Strongs too, right? I did that, that I did last time. A lot of cards to bring in. We don't know if they're steal your stuff stuff. Yeah, screw these. Bring slaughter strongs. Cut big to fairy. Usually play five matches. Maybe we'll play a sixth match and try and not play against these same two decks for five rounds in a row. is in the tank. Trying to figure it all out. Opponent's playing walls. What the hell is going on? Alright, come on. Let's go. Keep skis. Turn three Arcades. Stainful Stroke. Question is, do I want to play Caretaker and be able to attack with it next turn, or save it to draw a card off, our, off of Arcades? Hmm. 
Let me just play it. In most scenarios, I would like to just hold it and go for the value, but we just have to cheese them out. Yeah, they just have, they just have five mad on turn three every game. Like, and now we can't even play Arcades. They just, they just miss us. Ugh. We have to play Arcades. I can't. I can't just say go here at stroke with them. Let them make more mana. They have Nissa. They have Nissa. Well, it's finally getting paid off a little bit. That was a really good draw. Show remorse. I'll show remorse. Things are turning up for us a little bit. I've got time. I can help you no longer. That swung the entire game. Interesting. I mean, they thought that the uh, Arcades was tapped. In rather than Vigilance, I suppose. Finale of Glory, you got it. Baffling End, you got it. Two baffling ends. Let's try this. Sweet. It's an interesting no trade. I would think Jade Light would want to trade with the uh, caretaker there. Yeah, they have a way to remove this. They want to build a tactic ferry. No. That's more like it. Right. Let her elves. Only a wall of omens is in standard, you know? This deck's probably lacking like one good wall. Like our wall count's a little low, and the ones we're playing are fine, but not great. We're avoiding playing the really bad ones, but if there was like one good wall. Nice disdainful stroke. That is certainly the fear with, with uh, Stroke against these decks, is that it counters their Nissa, but they don't, uh, they have the Ferry too, so... Prison Realm? Sure. That according to plan. Arcades. Oops. I guess it doesn't need to need to be tag, I guess, but sure. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Oh, I'm always up for round two, Tef. You got it. That's a magic card? Apparently it is.
Teo. Teo. Drawing cards. Combos. You know there was a lot of Planeswalkers when uh, they decided to make a wall Planeswalker. You know Magic really needs a wall Planeswalker. Planeswalker is all about walls. That is exactly none. Stole a game. Let's get this one, alright? We need a W on the ledger here. We, we're, uh, we're struggling. We need that W. Poor Arcades is feeling bad about himself. Post back, back to the drawing board. What do I do against this defender deck? How do I sideboard? Oh, good lord, what do we do here? What do we do? We have Slaughter Strong, which I do think is really good. And Teo's like fine. It's pretty bad. It sucks because I feel like this matchup, Time Wipe is better, but Slaughter Strong is better against almost everything else. I'm going to keep. I think. Oh. Uh. His hand's bad. Maybe yeah, I should just mulligan. Alright, I'll mulligan. Let's show him this whole discipline here. Yeah. Uh, we can't guess Teferi on turn two, unfortunately, but. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. You don't have to mulligan, you get to mulligan. They play a non-Paradise Druid mana creature. We bounce it. Well, there, but sure. Alright. Need some gas. Uh, not a lot else going on here, but... That'll do. That'll do. I've done the hero thing before. Don't you dare demystify me. Don't you dare. I can't. That's very blood. Stupid static abilities. Maybe our opponent wasn't thinking about sideboard and they just like. or making dinner or something as well. 
because they probably aren't blocking here and they can't do anything else. So. Sure. Maybe they're salt roping us? Like, it's turn three, like, you know, like, what's the, what's the hold up here? Well, they are salt roping us. I'm going to remind everyone to check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, of course, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then there's a companion article to it on CoolStuffInc.com. You should check out, uh, so make sure you check out the, uh, the the site proper, CoolStuffInc.com. You can follow them on YouTube too, of course, but never miss the article, please. That's out every Monday. I do a written article every Friday, um, CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, last Friday's article was all about Splinter Twin in modern. That's right, Jessica Sahili is basically Splinter Twin. Let's check that out as well. And uh, we're just going to keep rolling here. CoolStuffInc.com is also, of course, the number one spot on the internet to get all your gaming needs. Uh, card games, board games, miniatures, gaming supplies. It's all on there. CoolStuffInc.com. And uh, you can use my promo code, Jim5, for 5% 5 off your order. It's not bad. Not bad. So I'll happily chuck this to Fairy next turn just to draw a card. Oh, never mind. We are just killing them. So they're at eleven and they're about to be at five. So I'll just draw like any spell that's not bad. Which is some of them. This is it's hopped to too, it's tough. Alright. Blood place. That place. That certainly plays. Um Slam jam. Scry something big to the top. Not a forest. Alright, I mean, we've got a board. They've got a Jade Light Ranger. Land the gate. Okay. Being a 3-2 is pretty good, so our 4-4 four, four can mesh on through it, so... Alright, well. Looks like we'll be trying to win the game, but we have right now. So we attack with everything. They trade here. Claw, yeah, just attack with everything. Go to one. We are out of gas. Uh, we do have lands in our hand and nothing else. But they're at one. We have three attackers, so hopefully it's good enough. That's awkward. Okay. That's not good. Man, why is it going to be like this, you know? We were doing so good. It's possible we're a little heavy on Lance. Um, we're playing 25, trying to make sure our, our Boreal Razors are good. I figured there's enough card draw in the deck where we'd be fine, but... Stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan.
They just have any gate in their hand, too. Oh, look, we drew a land. Thought we had it, some folks. I thought we had it. I thought we, uh... Thought we pulled through and stole a match, but that is not the case. That's more like it. See, we're, we're drawing to slaughter strong. They, they just obviously have negate, so like, probably doesn't matter what we draw. Um, we're just gonna hold this. We have no good attacks anyway, so. Might be a bad idea. One green in the pool. I'm sad. I am sad. Right, we're playing one more match. However, if it's against Esper or Bant mid-range, I may just turn off the, the video and not play. So, one bonus match. Because deck is super sweet, and I'm pretty disappointed in how his video is gone. But I keep it real. I keep it real. I'm not going to cherry pick. I mean, this actually might just be a keep because we have turn one caretaker, turn two vine wall of runes, and we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. We're insanely reliant on our caretaker living, but this is like a perfect tilt keep, you know? You were land, perfect. Oh, it's reading my cards. Thought erasure, very powerful. Another probably bad matchup. <laughs> oh. Grixis, all removal spells. See, our walls aren't great if they aren't blocking things. We haven't played one deck that wants to attack us yet. You know? No gruel, mono red, mono white. Just something. Probably got a ritual of Sudas. I mean, we got a big attack next turn, all things considered. They can't cry the Garnerium. That's for sure. Alright. Put them on alert. Don't you dare ritual slip me. Don't you do it. I mean, they can't remove this card from play, so we can safely discard it. Um, probably just attack and put them to one. Like, they probably block a 3-3 three, three here, go to one, and then we're just presenting lethal next turn. Other options probably just attack with the 4 4 and nothing else, then they can just trade and stay in 8. This is great, so cool. Yes. Yes. I mean, don't have Enter the God Eternals, I guess?
Okay. Uh, Grixis continues to disappoint basically everyone. Um, we're going to want strokes and vetoes, probably, because they don't have to ferry to muck that one up. Uh, tribunals are gone. Um, high alert's weird, because once it's in play, they can't remove it, but we do want to draw it. Um, and we can shave... Like, a caretaker. I kind of want Tristani, too, honestly. Which is a nice little go-wide threat. Let's shave a high alert. And... Like, shave... We're not going to be sacking our walls. Probably need to shave the portcullis vine. Can't cut too many walls. Red doesn't really function anymore. Maybe we don't want Llanowar Elves. Maybe this, this is not a Llanowar Elf matchup. Yeah, actually, I like that a lot. Let's call it Llanowar Elves. Right? Maybe, maybe not. Llanowar Elves play well with the uh, with the counter spells because I can get ahead on mana and then play a spell with a counter spell backup. Well, they're probably going to have some sort of mass removal. And eh, that's me. That's bad. Let's just cut the. I guess the caretakers bring Tristani's. Makes our wall count a little low, but we got a land too. Actually, let's cut a land of a draw. I oh, actually like that. Let's cut a land. Got a forest. Leave one of these in. Yeah. It's possible we're playing too many lands. Twenty-five is. It's a, it's a lot, you know. Like we, I just want to make sure the grazer's on, but probably should go down on a land or two. I think we have to keep. Teo is very good against them, um, and I just hate mulliganing against the, against thought erasure decks. I'm gonna keep. Like, they're not killing us fast. We'll have time to draw, you know, a, a land. We've, we have drawn, like, four of each duel together a lot this this uh, set of games, too, where you draw, like, you know, four breeding pools, or, like, two breeding pools, two Hinterland Harbors, zero white sources, or two Temple Garden, two Sun Petal Groves, zero blue sources. They're playing my Fishy Grixis deck. That's cool. Uh, we're probably in trouble. We haven't drawn any uh, blue sources no yet. This is what I for. I'll put this deck on stream. It's a Grixis deck based around Kiora, built by Dan Jessup. Really fun deck. I don't recall if Nickel Bolas is each opponent discards or target opponent. It's probably each opponent, which stinks, but. Kiora's really cool in this deck. It uh, ramps you up to five to cast Bolas and Sarkin, draws cards off Sarkin, draws cards off Bolas Creature. Deck plays Soul Diviner, so you can draw cards off Kiora's Loyalty, untap it, draw cards again. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool deck. Yeah, that's really good. Turn four bolus on the play is probably going to kill us. I don't think that this Lana Rolls is doing much. Yeah, I mean we can't cast any of the cards in our hand because we've drawn. Four green white duels and zero blue duels. Unfortunately. Anything to support my allies.
Teferi doesn't seem very good here. Conceivable. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Aren't you like dead or something? Or like in the prison realm? Let's talk about a trash someone who's in the prison realm. Oh no! Teo no! Teo. Teo no. Yeah. I mean, if we draw a blue source here, we're back in this game. We get to play Arcades or High Alert and attack this Nickel Boss. So, despite things being mostly awful for us, it's not all bad. Teo come and he wants to go home. <laughs> nope. Never. Alright. Tough game. I mean, I'm pretty happy keeping that hand. Obviously didn't work out for us. Um, we have plenty of blue lands. Plenty of white lands. Same number of blue and white sources. We just keep drawing all the white sources or all the blue sources, which is just kind of unfortunate. But now we're on the play. Let's run it back. Get our first W. It's only been playing for almost two hours. Punk's got the thematic Nickel Bolas avatar. The Demir sleeves. They are a Bolas aficionado. Aficionado? I can't pronounce things. I don't know. Alright, can we steal a win here, please? I swear to God, this deck isn't that bad. <laughs> These are all the cards we want, but our mana doesn't work. I'm keeping. Oh yeah. Never punished. Tay up us arcades is pretty sweet. With no thought erasure, interesting. Uh we're not gonna use it. I defend the defenseless. Eh, maybe we should have used it. Maybe this is greedy. Cure. You don't mind if I take my octopus for a walk? Yeah, I should. I should have made it. Okay, this, this is too greedy. The board presence is too important. Drawing cards is nice, but the board presence is just too important. I should have. I could. I could have attacked Cure with the three power creature. That that's a mistake. That was just too greedy. Okay. Uh, I don't know where that came from. If you're a lamb, we want to, we want to keep up stroke here, but <laughs> talk to the wall. Get it? Talk to the wall. He makes walls. This game's going well for us. Sure. Can pitch up. Uh, probably a high alert. I could draw a land and play Teferi next turn. That'd be cool. I guess the Grazer isn't really doing much, right? Yeah. Land for Teferi. 
Life is good. Right on schedule. Reverse. Just gonna slip away. Silly fishy. We're in phenomenal shape now. We draw land. Let's skip to the good part. No, but that's pretty good too. Um, I kind of want to play Teo and Wall of Ruins and draw cards this turn, but Tristani attack with everything feels phenomenal. And then untap two and have the stable stroke up too. That seems great. I feel victory. It's so close, I can taste it. I mean, it'd still be dead, but sure. I taste it. It tastes good! All we needed was a Grixis deck in our life. That's all we needed. Because Grixis, Grixis decks never win ever. We won a match. We did it. All right, folks. Again, I think his deck is pretty sweet. Um, the I think that we've had a pretty rough set of games here. Um, a lot of pretty bad matchups. Um, some unfortunate happenstances. I think we're a little heavy on land. Um, I think I would like to cut at least one land. And then... Honestly, maybe add a second to Fairy. The deck is just lacking some some card draw, you know? I don't think Krasis is correct. But I like Big Teferi being both a card excuse me, a card draw engine and a removal spell. Like Tribunal's kinda mopey, but we gotta have some ways to kill something. Teferi can kill things, but also can be a card draw engine too. So I'd probably um, like to wish there was a way to add cards to this view. Add to Fairy, cut a land. It's probably just a forest. So we have a uh, four, eight. It's eleven. Eleven turn one green sources. It's a little light, but we were having some color problems. We really shouldn't be having color problems with mana base, but we were. Um, and I'd probably go from here. Deck super fun. I mean, if you're looking for a fun deck to play at F and M, to play an arena. Like, this deck is super sweet. Um, you saw that game, how good the Teo Arcades interaction is. Um, you can have some kind of beatdown draws with High Alert. Teferi is obviously great. Lana Rolls is great. Boreal Grazer was very good. Um, but yeah, the deck's just a lot of fun. And Arcades is just a good card. I mean, like, even without the wall stuff going on, a 3 5 Vigilance Flyer that can't get cast down is pretty good. So, deck's super fun. Um, wish the matches had gone a little better, but. And then there's a break sometimes, you know? So, thank you for watching so much here on CoolStuffInc.com. Again, there's a companion article to this video if you're watching on YouTube. Hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. I do a video every Monday, an article every Friday, and of course, there's other fantastic content from other great content creators like Ali and Trazi and uh, Mike Flores and many more, as well as the best game shop on the internet, CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code JIM5 for 5% off your next order, and I will see you fine folks next week. Thanks for watching. Cool stuff, Inc. Dot com.